This is a review of the internal and external microphone capabilities of the GoPro Hero 3. Unlike the Hero 2, it doesn't come with any conventional microphone input. It just has a micro HDMI and a USB input on the side. So GoPro, which was kind of hard to even figure out, offers the 3.5 millimeter microphone adapter. So I didn't see it. I mean, it wasn't sold in stores or anything like that. Just looking around online, I found that they do have it on their website, and it's available and ready to ship. So I purchased it. It has a USB on one side, and then the other end, of course, allows you to plug any 3.5mm uh, microphone into it. So I've done a bunch of various tests. I used a Zoom H1 as kind of a external shotgun microphone with it, and then an Olympus ME52 lapel microphone. So... The following videos are of those tests, and it'll give you the opportunity to hear for yourself uh, what the differences are between the internal microphone capabilities and external microphone capabilities for the GoPro Hero 3. I was pretty surprised to find out that the GoPro Hero 3 did not come with an external mic input. However, it kind of does with this adapter. This is a USB to 3.5 millimeter input microphone adapter for the GoPro. Uh, Hero 3. 1995 on the GoPro website. I couldn't find it anywhere else or a variation of it. But you simply plug in any 3.5 millimeter mic that you have into here and then plug the USB port into the Hero 3 USB port. And it sounds pretty good from what I can tell. I'm going to do various tests so that you can judge for yourself. I'm about five feet away from the camera right now and I'm using the internal onboard microphone of the GoPro Hero 3. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the external. So now I have an Olympus external microphone plugged in to the GoPro. You can see it's taped right here to my uh, hoodie. It's a lapel microphone. However, if you can hear the difference in quality, you'll probably see that a lot of the white noise is blocked out and you're probably able to hear my voice more clearly. So even a lapel microphone with the GoPro 3 makes for pretty good audio. I'm still in the same quiet environment of a living room. The next test is going to focus on uh, outside. It'll be in the car and I'll do it with windows rolled up, windows rolled down so you can hear the difference and with the mic and without the mic. So I think hopefully that's given you a good idea of what uh, the external GoPro adapter can do. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next test. So I still have the external mic plugged into the GoPro 3. It's still attached to my hoodie there. I live on a pretty busy boulevard where there's a lot of traffic as you can see it going up and down behind me. I want to give you the opportunity to see that the lapel microphone does block out a lot of white noise and, or even external traffic or whatever noise you may come across and you should be able to still hear my voice pretty clearly. So in a second I'll go ahead and switch over to the internal onboard. Okay so I've taken the lapel microphone off, I'm not sure if you can even see me out here in the dark, but again there's still traffic going by. And uh, I don't know if you can hear my voice, or if you can, if it's clear or if it's not clear. Uh, but once again, this is the mic with the onboard internal microphone of the GoPro Hero. Before I move on to my next test and the next microphone, here is once again the internal onboard microphone for you to get an example again of what it sounds like and refresh your memory. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch to my next mic. Now I'm sure there's plenty of you thinking that you'd never use a lapel microphone with a GoPro. It limits your movement and everything else that you really do. So what if you could just stand the GoPro up, record something, and still get better audio than the internal mic provides? What I have the GoPro hooked up to right now is a Zoom H1 as an external mic. Not double audio recording, I'm not syncing it up. The And I'll pick it up, you might hear some movement here. You can see the Zoom H1's 3.5 millimeter jack comes out and I've attached it straight into the GoPro. I believe that you can hear quite a difference in the audio compared to the internal mic. The Zoom H1 also allows you to mess around with the settings. So if right now you think there's too much noise or if you think that you can't hear me or if it's too loud, there's plenty of settings to change. But I think that the audio is far superior here than it was with the internal mic or even the lapel mic because nothing's attached to me and I'm free to move around. Okay, so now I'm inside of a car. However, I have all the windows rolled up 
So there's really not much noise, but I'm going to roll down the window in just a second when the light turns green. Okay, so now the lovely driver's window is open, the passenger's window is open, and you can probably hear a difference. There's probably more noise outside than there was when I was at the stoplight. Okay, so now we're going about 40 miles per hour with the windows rolled down and still with the internal microphone of the GoPro. Now I have the Zoom H1 plugged into the GoPro. I'm sure you can't see me because it's pretty dark, yet the GoPro 3 has proved to be pretty good in low light. So now the windows are rolled down. You'll probably hear a lot more external noise, but I'm hoping that you might be able to still hear my voice clearly. You may not be able to because of the surrounding noise, yet it probably sounds better than the internal mic with the windows rolled down. So that's going to conclude this test. We were never really going faster than about 40 miles an hour with the windows rolled down and at the same speed with the windows rolled up. We've used the internal onboard mic and the Zoom H1. When all is said and done, I have to admit that I'm a little disappointed the GoPro Hero 3 didn't have the same external microphone input that the GoPro Hero 2 had. However, after listening to these various tests, the 3.5 millimeter mic adapter works just as well, if not better. I'm just a little hesitant to use it too much because it feels like maybe the USB input will eventually give out from connecting it to the computer back and forth, the microphone back and forth, etc. But as you heard in these tests, I believe that an external mic definitely improves the audio quality of your GoPro Hero 3.